Hi guys, it's Kevin again from Going Batty. Hey, I've got another technical video for you. I wanna show you a really cool device that links audio to a sound system wirelessly through Bluetooth. It's right here. It is called a, let me see if I can get it to focus in here, uh, Rockvox, Rock Rocks. Um, and it is uh, going to plug into uh, the TV and it's going to shoot a signal Bluetooth into another one that looks just like this over at the soundboard. So let's have a look at this and see uh, and get it hooked up. So you've got two cables here. Oh, oh, there you go. You got two cables here, and let me get it so it's not so fuzzy. There you go. Maybe two cables here. One is the power cable, which you can tell is got a flat head just like that, and the other is an audio cable with a. a, a I think that's an eighth. Um, I think that's an eighth or 16th. I can never remember. Uh, so uh, don't take my word for it. Like I said, I'm not an expert. I'm just gonna show you how these things work. What you do is you take these and you plug the sound into the hole back there. If you see, it's like a uh, hole for a uh, ear, like earphones. And then you take the power cord, the power uh, cord and you plug it into the flat part right here. And the red light comes on. Now, that red light needs to be blinking so that it'll sync with the other black box that is uh, uh, connected to the soundboard. So I'm gonna hold down on this button here and we're gonna make that uh, blink, sorry. There it goes. Now, let's pay attention to the side real quick. If you'll notice, this side uh, to connected to the TV needs to be on TX. And then this side, and this is very remedial, guys. I'm not going to get into all the technical jargon of what TX means and RX means. But uh, make sure that this little toggle switch right here is over to TX right there. And that it's blinking. Uh, and it should look kind of a red, purple uh, as it blinks on and off. Okay? Now, um, I'm going to set this right here. I'm going to let that blink. There we go. I'm going to let that blink, and we're going to head over to the soundboard. So the one attached to the soundboard has the same exact thing. It has a plug-in that looks a lot like a, uh, a uh, plug-in for your earbuds. And that goes into the slot. And then it has a power cord that's white like the other one. Pull that out. And we're going to plug that back in. There it goes. Now, um, this one needs to be set to RX. The other one was TX. This one's set to RX to receive the signal. And then we're gonna hold that black button in on the side right here. And we'll hold it in until we see some life. Oh, there you go. There's some blinking going on. It's trying to find its counterpart. And we're just gonna let that blink for a minute while it finds it. So it found it, and as you can hear, The music is taking over, the music is on. So you can hear the music and it is synced. It's really that simple, you guys. These are great little products. There'll be a link, uh, an Amazon link down below or a link to, to find it below if we can find it. Um, and that is how you connect a TV wirelessly to a soundboard. So one thing I wanted to make note of is that the, the Bluetooth adapter is connected through uh, a cable that goes into RCA connectors, and that sound is coming out of the TV into the uh, the Bluetooth uh, adapter and out to the soundboard. So those are outputs, not inputs. So guys, thanks for watching that short little tutor tutorial on how to connect Bluetooth audio to Bluetooth audio and have it go wirelessly from your TV into a soundboard. Uh, thanks for watching. All As always, please like, subscribe, and comment. Uh, give us that thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the notifications button. Uh, that'll remind you when we have a new video coming out. And as always, more updates as we go.